Professor, oh good. Yes, what is it? I'm working flat out. It's Victoria. Well? She's planning to go straight to Ceres and start work on Island 5. Jean-Francois found her job in the local library. Have you told her she can have a teaching post at Columbus? $400 a week, Professor, and she'll be with the man she loves. We need her on the Ilia. I don't think we stand a chance. Yeah, she's got a nice smile. Anyway, what's being attractive got to do with getting a degree, Melody? Don't be naive, Sarah. Yes, yeah, Sarah, don't be naive. What? It's obvious. What is? Brennan fancies her. Oh, come <laughs> off it. I don't know about that, Mel. He does. All oh, this I'll be a father to you now you haven't got one. When did he ever try being nice to me? I've got no father and no, no mother. Yeah, all right, Melody. He never took me under his wing to say... Be my daughter as we conquer deeper space. <laughs> no, because you'd have probably screamed your yeah. head off. Victoria does work hard, though, Mel. Yeah, well, I work hard. What? <laughs> I've passed all my modules. Yeah. I've only got six outstanding credits. <gasps> if anyone's due a bit of extra help, it ought to be me, the condition I'm in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. 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 Oh, yeah. what's the matter? Oh, well, nothing else. Fucks, Mel. Melody thinks it's unfair that Victoria's been given her degree. Well, she does work hard. Very hard. She's always been a worker. It's surprising what you can achieve by working hard, and I know Professor Brennan takes notice of that sort of thing. Don't you just love yogurt? Mmm. I think it tastes wonderful this morning, don't you? I still can't believe it. Is John Francois pleased? Yeah, he's thrilled. Mm. What job is it exactly? I don't know, really. Uh, something in the library? He says the library there is fantastic. Apparently, I won't be able to believe the facilities after the Ilya. Yes, you know, I've heard about the American facilities. Yeah, fresh bread. They've even got fresh bread. Their dome is so big that they can grow their own wheat. <laughs> and what work will you be doing? I don't know yet. Will you be doing any original research? Oh, no, not in the library. But I'll apply for a job in research as soon as there's a vacancy. Honestly, Bex, I don't care if I'm sorting out the laundry to begin with. Oi. Wake up, you Oi. lazy thing. It's time to work. Get off. Work, work, work. It'd be nice to the professor. And maybe you'll get your degree in two years instead of four. <laughs> well, he can hardly do that, because he's already been here for five years, haven't you, Byron? Man <laughs> boy, <laughs> Sarah. Man boy. What? It's Call from Valhalla for all students taking stellar evolution. <laughs> professor Brellin apologises. But he is unable to take any seminars uh, today. Again? Please Shit. continue working. He did this to us yesterday, you know. Yes, we know he did. I don't know why we bother. What's the point in being here? Oh, it doesn't particularly bother me. He scares me off to death anyway. <laughs> the man's a raving egomaniac. He thinks he's running this ship. He is running the ship. <laughs> yeah, but should he be? Where's our principal? Probably floating around the solar system in a body bag. <gasps> Tilly, I don't want to talk to But look, I can't even get to speak to him, and I'm the chair of the students' union. Yes, well, none of us can, because he's not here, is he? Oh, Byron thinks he's here, but hiding in the heating system, oh, sure. don't you, Byron? He does. I'm going to go find somewhere <laughs> quiet to work. I'll come with you. We can work in my cabin. Oh, my hey, look, this is our future we're talking about <sighs> yes, here. Yes, Byron. Hello. Morning. I don't think I can stand much more of this. Brellan running the college. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's not interested in students, so why on earth does he want to be principal? Besides, he hasn't the stature. Mm. You know, he says Berlin have cut the post, but they can only have done that if they knew he'd step in and take over. And you don't like working for him? I hate it. He's got me sorting out all the things he should be sorting out. He's not interested in students. Well, except Victoria. Have you heard about her degree? Uh, yes, Charles did mention it. It's deserved. Good move. We need another post-grad lecturer. Mm, except she's got no intention of staying here and lecturing. She's planning to go off to Ceres and scrub floors. Victoria? Yeah, I know. Who'd have thought it? But why, for God's sake? 
Well, her fiance's there and she's lonely here. Island Five is not doing any decent biochemistry research work on Island Five. It's a complete waste of her brain. Well, you tell her. Well, what about a PhD in a research work with Charles? A PhD? I didn't know anything about a PhD. Petra, get me Charles Brell in deedless control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> Can you just see her in this? She's... Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, don't mess those up. Why you just put them away? <laughs> and this, look at this. <laughs> I never had anything like this. What's the matter? Nothing. Well, why can't I look at them? You make me cry. Why? Daniel, what are we doing? How did I ever think I'd be able to cope with a baby stuck in this place, millions of miles away from Earth? Melody, stop thinking you're on your own. Why do you keep behaving as if you're on your own? Melody? Victoria's papers must have been really good. Hey. What? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Well, as good as mine. What do you think? What about Anna? Well, she did really good papers, but were they the best papers ever? <laughs> I don't know. Look, will you shut up? I'm trying to get this done. I don't think they're as good as my papers on super strength theory. Anna! Well, nobody said they were anyway. Hi. Look, I don't mean to be any bother, but just a quick yes-no question. What do you think of shuttle fares? Yes, no. Give the lady a coconut! Mm. No, seriously. Your opinion obviously holds a lot of weight with the mad professor. What do you think? I don't really think about it. I don't use the shuttle very often. Well, let's put it another way, then. Can you afford to use the shuttles? No. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Look, I don't want to go to Callisto. I don't want to use the shuttle. I'm really... I'm not interested. Anyway, I'm going to series soon. Thanks a lot. Yes? Uh, could we meet sometime today, Victoria? Say, half an hour? Uh, yes, is it about EVA 3? Not exactly. Oh, I've been thinking. I've had a really good time here as an undergrad. <laughs> well, not at first, but lately. You know me in theoretical physics. <laughs> I may not be very good at all the other subjects, but after all, the board can take a brilliant paper like my super string theory and give you a degree just on the strength of that if they want to, can't they? Can they? No, not you, Timmy. You're too young. So look at Mozart, look at Moto. My professor on Arnold Fire said I have the most profound grasp of computer skills he's ever encountered. His very words. <laughs> yeah, and then he sent you back here. Yeah, but I wanted to come back. But age yeah. is important, Timmy. You can't just be one-sided. I mean, you have to have had a proper student experience. I like being in the play. Coffee, anyone? Yeah. Okay. She thinks they're gonna give her a degree. She can't. She does. She's correct. I know. The trouble with Melody is she's all right for ages and then she suddenly goes into these states. Well, it's not entirely surprising or unusual. No, she seems to forget about it for days on end. And if you were pregnant for ten minutes... No, she, she put it out of her mind and then suddenly when these baby clothes arrived, it hit her. This is really gonna happen. Something's gonna be put in these clothes soon. Open. Oh, what do you want now? It's nice I haven't said anything yet. I'm sorry, Byron, but you seem to think I'm here just for you to have a go at. I wasn't even looking for you, but since you're here, I've got a question. Mm -hmm. Who's in charge? I'll let you know. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, no, look, I'm beginning to lose a little patience. Do you realise that I'm the chair of the students' union? I should think everyone on board realises that now, Byron. I'm mandated to speak on their behalf. Who's in charge and when can I speak to them? Is that all you think about? How can you go around being so arrogant and unfeeling? You know, the last principal we had went outside of this ship to repair it and died for you lot, and all you do is wander around moaning about shuttle fares. I only asked the question. Can't you see she's got enough to deal with? Haven't you got the brains to realise she doesn't deal with these shuttle fares? She has 50 students on this ship who are a direct responsibility. Not to mention the staff who she has to feed and organise and generally mother. Daniel, is this you, Daniel? Not to mention the first baby born open in the Jupiter system. Oh, uh, yeah. You want to know who the new principal is? Yes. It's Professor Brellen. Oh, thanks for coming. That's all right. It's about your degree. Why? What's happened? They, they haven't changed their minds, have they? Oh, Lord, no, no. Uh, Rebecca tells me you're applying for a job on series. Island 5. To be with the boyfriend? And my fiancé, yes. 
<clears throat> Charles wants you to reconsider. Why? He wants you to do Security a PhD. Security shuttle, Pack scimitar. Be quiet. Do he wants you to do a PhD. Me? Here, under his supervision, and take on a little lecturing. Uh, can't do that. What, the lecturing or the PhD? Well, either. I'm, I mean, not straight away. God, for heaven's sake, I was only an undergraduate working on basic nuclear astrophysics ten minutes ago. Charles has a very high opinion of your abilities. That's why he pushed your degree through. Yeah, but he didn't say anything about doing a doctorate. Well, he didn't think you were going to rush off to series. No, look, I'm not going forever. Just until Jean has his PhD and then I know he wants to come back here and teach. Victoria, nobody is talking about Jean. I want to be with him. Yes, and I want my very own solo wind yacht with a, with a Brazilian Mark V pleasure dome. What sort of research does he want me to do? The flow of ionised gases in the presence of magnetic fields. It would be a great relief to us poor old flyers if you get to grips with that particular problem, wouldn't it? I mean, it does kill enough of us. I want to go to Ceres. Look, I really want to be with Jean. Listen, I was at Valhalla. I saw the time and trouble Charles put in to looking at your work, despite the incredible amounts of other work he's doing. He really thinks you've got something. I'll have to think about it. Oh, yes, of course. No hurry. He's not back on board till late tonight. Star of Saigon. We came out on her. Me and Timmy. Mom and Dad. From Earth. <laughs> now the poor old thing just plods backwards and forwards between here and Ceres. Don't talk about Ceres. Right. No talking about the baby, no talking about Ceres, anything else we're not supposed to be talking about. Melody, it's no good being jealous of Victoria. Jealous? What do you mean? I'm not jealous. Yes, you are. You're jealous and bitter. Well, I'm sorry, Daniel, but why does she get everything? Why is it? She gets Jean-Francois. Yeah, okay. She's welcome to Jean-Francois, but she had no right to him. She now gets given a degree so she can go and marry him on Ceres and they can live happily forever after in some luxurious American space flat. Which is all you've ever wanted. No! Yes, Melody, whilst you get left with no luxury space flat, no special brilliant degree, no romantic voyage to meet good old Jean-Francois, just the boring old Ilya and boring old Daniel Weatherby's oh, wretched baby inside Daniel! You. Well, you needn't show it so much, Melody. You needn't show your indifference for me and the baby so much, OK? You've never been boring. Everything else, perhaps. You're never boring. I'm sorry, I just get in a state. I can't help it. I know you don't care about me, Melody. No. I know you don't care about me. I can stand that. What I can't stand is when you don't care about the baby. Whether Victoria gets her degree or not has nothing to do with us. Whether she marries John Fox. Paper met me a postgrad. Hey. What a great necklace Bob gave you. Anna, pod off, will you? Okay, pelvic rocking. Here we go. Yeah, just leave it down here. Mm. Now, lie with your small of your back onto the floor. I'm not small anything at the moment. <laughs> Stretch the muscles in the lumbar region. Breathe normally and hold this position for a slow anyway? count of four. So you open, open, then release gradually to ensure your bottom huh? firmly. No. What are you doing? It's my prenatal exercise handbook. Well, it's flattering that he's gone to all this trouble for me. Flattery? He's not doing it to flatter you. No, I uh, know. Um, but there must be other students who are ready to teach. Well, he obviously thinks you're the best. I would love to do the research. Do it, then. 
soul, but I also want to be with Jean. Have you spoken to him about it yet? <sighs> no, I'm afraid of upsetting him. Oh, for heaven's sake. You don't like him very much, do you? Of course I like him. Anyway, that's not the point. A lot of people here don't like him, and that makes staying even harder for uh, Victoria, me. you were being offered the opportunity to do some very valuable research. You've never talked like this before. If you wanted a cosy life with a husband and a job in the local library, then what are you doing in space? You see, you don't like him. I just know it's a mistake to marry in haste. I know because I've done it. OK, you ready? I'm ready. Feeling pregnant? Oh, about eight and a half months, I think. Right now, lying here, line leg up. Slowly, you're pregnant, remember? How oh, could I forget? Oh, now. I just have to smaller you back on the floor. Uh, no. Put it there, then. Come on. Wow. Come on, right now. Oh, the other one. Oh, this is so difficult. Oh, it's so oh, tough. I think it's tough being pregnant. <laughs> oh, we can't be doing this way. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I'm feeling Charles. I don't know whether she likes this, really. Um, Tim, what did you think of Island Five? Oh, it's great. You're going there, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, you wait till you see the student restaurant. It's fantastic. I'm not actually going for the food, Timmy. Oh, you want to be with, um, Thingy, don't you? Thingy? Thingy? Don't say you've forgotten his name already. Oh, Tim. You're not another one who hates him, are you? It's just that so few things are certain in my life. Well, in any of our lives. I've been in deep space since I was five. I know. I just thought they were settled, that's all. Look, sorry. <sighs> Professor Brellan wants me to stay here on Ilia. Why? To teach you. To teach me? Tim Shaw, child genius. <laughs> and all the other little child geniuses. And to do some research. Are you going to? I don't know. I didn't want to be with Thingy, you know. <laughs> Is he ever going to get his PhD? Of course he is. It just seems to be taking a very long time. Oi! Ow! <laughs> Happened. I told you. Oh. Told you not to try it. My like, back. It's agony. Getting pregnant, Byron, is simple. But being pregnant is another matter. Ah! Oh. I told you this would happen. Oh. Get it. Get it. Some sort of joke, Byron. No, look, it might be important. Uh, hello? Byron. Yeah, I'm here. Oh. Come and see me in Compton. I can't. You had a request in to see Professor Brellin? Yeah. You've been chasing him for days? Yeah. He's asked me to deal with it. Oh. Oh, take me! All right. Come on. Oh. If you can send this with the Earth packages on the next shuttle. Yes, of course. I know it'll have a long wait, but I couldn't bear it sitting around in my room. I can't think why he didn't send a message to me and get me to send it back. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Fancy just letting you open it. Well, he probably forgot he even sent it. He's had a lot of other things on his mind lately, like getting married, for instance. I don't suppose uh, I should be doing this. Well, don't then. It's that stupid fault, anyway. What do you mean? It's your fault. I was only trying to encourage you. I don't need encouragement, thanks, honey. Melody, oh. you haven't exercised your little finger since you got pregnant. That is entirely true. <laughs> Pick me up! Shut up. Oh. 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 Am I doing it for you? She thinks she's going to get a degree. No, I don't believe yes, it. Yes, she does. You heard her. Even Anna's not that deaf. Of course she is. She really thinks Professor Pellin is going to come up here tomorrow and award her a special degree. In front of everybody. Yeah. That's so many in her Hang on a minute, though. Anna doesn't know anything about anything. No, except string theory. Oh, all right, then. Yeah, string theory. No, it's super string theory. Oh, super. She keeps telling me that it's super string theory. What's the difference? What she thinks she's going to be given a degree because of her work on super string. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Hey. Uh, have you finished your um, Stella Navigation module yet? No, it's difficult with Mercedes away. I like to discuss my topics with the tutor. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. ship's running a bit low on tutors. Yeah. Oh, and, and postgrads. We haven't got enough postgrads oh. on this year. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, it's a shame you're not a uh, postgrad, Anna. You could teach me a lot about uh, neural networking. Oh, don't be silly, Tim. Neural networking is not my subject. I think a lot of good scientists specialise in one particular field. I don't have any affinity at all with stellar navigation. No, no, nor do I. It doesn't have any room for creativity. Not like, say, super string theory. <laughs> string theory? Right? Yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. 
What's the matter with him? He's pulled his back. Yes? This is a formal request, Commander, for full college backing for our campaign for student shuttle fares. <clears throat> Why? Why what? Why should you get reduced fares? Because Karina employees get concessionary fares. And? We think we should be entitled to the same. That it, is it? No, no, no. M most of the students here are half a year's travel away from home. We work very hard in the hot house atmosphere of this ship. We think it only reasonable that for our mental <coughs> well-being, we should be allowed to relax away from the ship from time <coughs> to time. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. <coughs> yes, well, that all sounds very reasonable. Ooh, it is reasonable. But we don't run the shuttle. It's entirely Carina Corporation's ah, responsibility. Yes. But what if we withdraw all our support for the Carina shuttle system? What if we boycott their services? What if we withdraw all our trade and customers, stay here on Ilia? What then, Commander? I imagine you'll all get some work done for <laughs> once. What have you done to your back, Wilkinson? Never you mind my back. It's seized up. Yeah. Oh, it isn't, is it? Yeah. You need more exercise. EVA-3, you should have EVA-3 by now, Wilkinson. Tell you what, you have EVA-3, you won't need a Karina shuttle. You'll be able to whiz down to Space City all on your own. Thanks a lot. You can leave. At least you should try them anyway. Not likely, Daniel. Well, they're all for toning abdominal muscles. Your oh. muscles do need toning, if you don't mind me saying. But what happened to him? Well, that's only because he wasn't doing them properly. <sighs> yeah, yeah, and I'm not pregnant. I don't. Oh, I know. What happened? Oh. What happened, oh. Byron? Oh, don't ask. No, don't ask. Oh, what a creep that man is. What a tool of the ruling clique. I told you it was hopeless. Maybe I'll call a protest meeting. A protest meeting of the entire student body. Oh, yeah. Or well, maybe you'll fall to sleep. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. He called. Just now he called. Who called, my little pigeon? Professor Brellen. He didn't, did he? What he, did he say? He came on my other sec and said that he's coming back tonight on the shuttle and he wants to see him in his room tomorrow at 9.30. What for? I don't believe him. Why else but to tell me I've passed my degree? 